Hey you and welcome back to some quill briar. Yeah, I'm here. I'm in Minecraft tonight. I'm still sitting in Scotland. Actually, I'm sitting in Scotland on a paint can. <laughs> just with table heights and cameras and you know just using a laptop and it works out best if I use a coffee table and sit on the floor and I've been Oh, so many technical difficulties. I thought I had this all together and all worked out and was doing a really good job, you know, back in Canada before I left. And then when I got here and actually started this stuff up, and nothing's been wanting to work right. So I have just spent um, four hours, four hours making this go. So I began recording up today because I, I told a couple people that I would be. So here I are, finally at day's end. Now, a couple of things I wanted to do today in, in Quillbriar um, is check on this tower that I started building a while back. Actually, this is the third incarnation of this tower. I'm in Midsummer. Am I in? No. Okay. Um, there we go. Now I can fly around and show you where I am. So um, I started working on this tower. This is in Midsummer Meadows. And uh, this was to Karamar. Um, wow. This is a tower for the anna first anniversary of Quillbriar. <laughs> so I, I had actually created a whole tower here and then it was it was really ugly. I'm not good at towers. I don't I'm not I guess phallic symbols are just not my thing, but I um it was pretty bad. So I took it down and then I started a second one and I didn't like that one any better and I tore that down. And uh, I got this far of this one, and you know, from a distance, it's not horrible. You know, the further away you are, the prettier it gets, right? So that that's kind of cool. You can just stand way over here and go, oh, look, I has a tower. <laughs> so that's going to be the anniversary tower, first year in Quillbriar, and probably here in this little village, you know, every year I'll just build a new tower somewhere in the vicinity. So I need to work on the inside yet. I got the outside cleaned up or finished and, you know, took down the the, the dirt scaffolding that was all over the place, but uh, at least I think I got most of it. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do with those windows, put glass in them perhaps, I don't know, or bars, I'm not sure what to do with that just yet. And then up top we've got fire in the four little corners there and then a, a whole pile of fire up top so you can you know you can see it from a distance I keep wanting to talk to you guys and look over at where the camera usually is at home and so if I keep glancing over here and going hi you know and talking to the wall that's why I'm trying to be nice and talk to you oh well there you go right there you go habits <laughs> Whoever thought this would actually become habit someday. But one thing I wanted to do, I've got two new buildings that I want to put in this area. Um, that's one of the, part of the little downtown village, uh, the main street here. And then there's going to be some more little shops off this side. But what I need to do is find spots for new places. Now I'm going to, one of them that I want to build, and I've got a little video of it over, uh, I think I put it up yesterday, I saw it over at the Botanical Gardens, and it is called Inverleaf House. And it's kind of cool, I, I just, you know, it was nothing fancy, it's like the perfect Minecraft house, it's a big block, right? And then it had like two curtain walls and a little cottage that were actual squares, two stories high on either side, but it just, I don't know. I liked it, and I thought that's the perfect Minecraft house. So that will just be going in somewhere in the village. I don't know, maybe back on this hill. Um, oh, we got a temple right over there. What do you know? But that's just going to be a house, uh, albeit a big house, but just a house that's in the village. But the other Craig Miller Castle in the southern part of Edinburgh. Um, I don't have. I've only got the video from the top. Um, the top walkway uh, showing the view and not really showing the castle at all unfortunately because I've never done video before that particular one and I was really nervous and didn't want to do anymore so I didn't do it but uh, there are I put up I don't know 20 30 40 pictures or something over on my Facebook page if you want to see what that place looks like and I managed to get the floor plans they don't have any for sale but there is one one a single official set used by the people who actually work there and they let me take pictures of it god bless their little hearts 
so that I could have the actual, like, every layer because it's a really, really confusing place. And I have to find some great, big, old, awesome spot for that. And I just don't, I'd love to have it here, part of this village, very, very much. I just don't know if it'll fit. You know, unless they go in here and start cutting a whole bunch of trees down or something, it just may not be able to go here. It may just have to be another another of the castles along the way. Now, there, see this spot's pretty cool over here, but nowhere near big enough. It's just not going to do. And I think to the other side, I mean, we got the desert there. I suppose they could change the whole top layer to grass. and That might work out, I suppose. I don't know. But it's going to need a big place. And it's got, you know, a big curtain wall and, and two gardens on either side and a big, the big front courtyard. Yeah, see, we're getting right back into snow. And I believe right over here is, uh, yeah, see the lights in the trees? Our winter frost village should be up here and right there. And there is the dome. I'm going to run into glass here in a minute. Just smack myself like a bird on a window. Oh my god, is it finished? Uh, Head wound has been working on this since Christmas off and on. And it looks like... Almost not quite. Not quite. Alright, not quite done yet. Wow, close. Right there's the edge. He's making a big, like a snow globe dome over Winter Frost Village. Which is kind of weird because that means it'll probably never snow again. So... Yeah, might have been an odd choice on our part, <laughs> but it's going to look really cool, right? It'll look like a little Christmas snow globe. It'll be fun. So I don't know. I don't think this, there's, I don't think there's going to be an area where I can put that castle anywhere in this village. It's just going to be too big. So I'm going to have to go up, find someplace else. And over here, which is not loading as quickly as I would like, is my giant tree, which still isn't finished. I have too many projects. <laughs> too many projects, too many games. Now, over there is sort of a, like a little mountain pass through here. Okay, come on, darling, load up for me. Now, my server is over in North America, and I am trying to record off the Wi-Fi, you know, of the flat that I'm renting, and it's not as fast as at home. <laughs> By any means. Oh, it takes forever to upload this stuff for you guys. I'm telling you, it's just these little videos that we're putting on, like they're two or three minutes, and they're they're taking like 40 minutes to get online. It's pretty bad. Now, oh, now look at this. Look at this over here. We could use this little sort of little mountain pass, put a road in through here, and perhaps right here is the spot for the Craig Miller Castle. Oh no, I've got. <laughs> Hideaway cabin is sitting right there. Okay, so unless I just take that mountain down and create it right there. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, see, I made this little spot last summer. A year ago. So what's the date today? In about a week, it'll be a year. When my little dog died and I fell into a really bad place and uh, I just hiked over here and made this little teeny tiny cabin and planted some flowers and apparently, uh, oh okay, the, the door is open, that's always good, I wonder who left my door open. And I have a cow moving in, well that aren't you just, yeah. So somebody's been wandering around visiting because I do not leave doors open, ever. It's a thing. It's a really big thing that creeps me out. You can't be leaving doors open. Now it is nighttime and I'm not seeing any mobs so I'm assuming that the, uh, the ops on here have for whatever reason turned off the mobs again. Last time I was here I turned mobs on and then I leave and they turn them off. <laughs> Oh, I haven't been around too much. I'm in Scotland, so it's probably just as well. If it makes them happy, then it's all good. But somebody's been poking around and leaving doors open. 
Nero loves to just let the game. Oh, did you see that? Interesting or something. I gotta play with settings yet. I'm using OBS here and uh, we're not getting on. We're just not getting along at all. <laughs> OBS doesn't like me and I'm thinking, I'm not sure I like him either. So I keep hearing about how easy it is, but it has been glitchy and just a pain in the neck. So yeah, I don't know. As much as I'm, I don't like XSplit because of the just massive amounts of resources it takes. You just gotta turn everything off because you know it's just gonna be a problem, but um, maybe I just haven't figured it out yet. That's all, I just haven't figured it out yet. Well, I can put, I can put the Iver Inver, Inverleaf, Inverleaf house anywhere in here. I just have to build a road and stick it someplace. Maybe just right over here. You know what? I think this would be a good place right there. See the big red arrow? Did I ever show you guys this? <laughs> and the jungle tree in the middle of, you know, a place where jungle trees don't belong. And um, this little teeny tiny place here. Yeah. Hard to miss. You know, it, it's sort of relatively noticeable. And then when you look at it, <clears throat> yep. <laughs> wandered over one day and created a secret hideout because you know he's special like that and um and why oh god we still have these in here okay uh these these fridge these cabinets things i'm just gonna have to destroy them because all these cabinet things do is trash your game and cause things to crash so anyway Short recording because it will take me all night to get it uploaded. <laughs> and I'm sorry I'm not doing more, but I really did spend four hours making this go and making everything work. And I do apologize for that, but it seems like it's working now. So what I'm going to do is never turn it off again. Yeah, that'll be great. And I'll be back to do, uh, to do some more recording right away. Actually, I might do a little bit more tonight just before I do a crash and burn and crawl into bed and, uh, Tomorrow I'm going on a treasure hunt. I'm, we're driving all the way to the west coast. Uh, you know, all the way. <laughs> west coast of Scotland. It's not that far. But, um, and there's a particular chunk of land that I'm looking to find in the middle of a forest using ordnance maps, GPS, I hope, which will work. And um, I'll, be, I'll be tweeting about that throughout the day for sure. And then maybe come back and finish this tower because I don't think there's much in it. I think there's like stairs going up to where the first floor used to be and that's about all. So until I see you next time, you know, live your life happy, build it beautiful. You know, if you're, if you're wondering about some of these places I'm talking about, go over to my Facebook page forward slash kiss for luck and there's, I'm posting pictures like crazy of, of the trip. On Twitter, I'm doing some tweeting and things like that and I've started couple of days ago doing little bits of recording so if we find this our treasure hunt tomorrow I'll be putting up a little bit and bob with that too and um, I'm gonna stop this one go back play some more Minecraft so until I see you next time live your life happy Mwah. build it beautiful